social, it's a platform where students can do a free audit of the different social media platforms they're on, and it will give them a little bit of an idea of how people may view their content, and if they're spending too much time focusing in a specific area like politics or religion or something like that. It will give them a sense that they'd like to change what they're putting out there or put a little bit more balance to the discussions they have online. And the situation that Anthony talked about a little bit earlier with a co-op student who had shared personal photos of herself online, that's the need help now. That's a site where people can go if they've made those huge mistakes online and get help trying to deal with that kind of situation. I, I'm innovative. I like to think outside of the box and come up with uh, um, ideas and, and methods that maybe other people haven't tried. Um, family's really important to me. I have a wife and two daughters that everything I do, they're a part of. I have vision, I can see potential in things. Um, and I like to collaborate and work with people like Gene and people in the school board I'm associated with. It's great to have that collaboration. And I'm always try to be positive. I always try to look at the positive side of things. So there's six keywords that I can go to and I could walk into an interview or I could walk into anywhere and someone can say, tell me about yourself. And if I can think about those six keywords, I can give them a thumbnail sketch of who I am, what my brand is. Then the second step of the process is once they've done this, is to get them to Google themselves or work in pairs and Google each other and say, um, yeah, your keywords show up and, and I get that from your, your social media profiles or you're way off. I don't get any of this from what you're posting online. I've, I've looked at them, I haven't played with one directly yet. Okay, so the micro bit, very, very inexpensive piece of technology, it has the LED screen. Yep. It also has a built-in gyro, so it can recognize when it's tilted. You can also use alligator clips to connect uh, motors yep. and other sensors to it as well. And then it's also got a left and right button. Okay. So you can code this all by itself. So. It's a standalone product. Yep. Uh, it uses Make Code, which is a free Microsoft um, online program. Yep. Like it's a it's web-based software. And then how it works is you can purchase uh, different accessory kits for it. Okay. So there's a company, Inksmith, that has created this robotic design. And it all like snaps and screws together. Okay. It's got three built-in light sensors. And it's also got the ultrasonic sensor on the front. 
and then what you would do is you would code. You download the extension for the Kate robot. That's what this is called, K8. You download your program to your micro bit. Okay. Stick your micro bit in. You would turn on your power, and then you would be able to execute that program. So what's the cost on that setup? So the micro bits sell, depending on the setup that you're getting, between about $25 and $30. Okay. And we sell the Kate Robot Kit with a micro bit, as well as without. I believe they're about $80 uh, without and 100 with. Okay. And if people want more information on that, what where, where website do they go to, Kristen? Uh, Spectrum-nasco.ca. Go in for a work order, be called into a school, and while I was there, I would, I would network, I would pitch hey, I can come in and do this with your classroom, I can come. And once I got one teacher to buy in in a school, I guarantee I would get three or four more sessions out of that right away. As soon as I got one buy in and they saw that you were there and what you were doing, then the rest of them were on board. Um, so that's what it took is that keep, keep talking, keep mentioning it.